Okay, I'm just gonna record this while the anger is still boiling in my blood right now. Uh, I'm in Vienna. The city's incredible. The, the architecture, wonderful. And everything, it just, a beautiful place. Absolutely beautiful. The hotels suck. I mean, they really fucking suck. I'm not like someone who needs a ton, okay? These hotels. Okay, let me put it this way. This is a three-star hotel. Okay, well, it was in America. That's like a, uh, a Motel 6. Hell, even a Motel 6 could, six could be considered like a two-star. Okay, even that could be like a two-star. Look at this room. Look, 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 look at it. I mean, it's, I, I don't have the wide angle, so I can't really show just how fucking microscopic it is, but it, it's unbelievable. So, okay, I'm, I'm going to give you the grand tour now. Um, hold on, th th there's my feet. You already see the huge amount of space I have here. Uh, there's a footstool, yeah, because that's, that's really essential. Uh, oh, and isn't that nice? You get to make your own bed. The housekeepers and stuff are so nice that they just throw the sheets down. They fold them. That's nice, but but you had to make your own bed. I, I don't know if you can tell right now, I'm actually, I'm sweating incredibly. I'm really hot because it's really hot. Hey, it's summer, it gets hot, and wouldn't you know it, there's no air conditioning. None. No air conditioning at all. That's like a three-star hotel. A three-star hotel doesn't have air conditioning, but... It's okay. You wanna know why? They have a window. Oh yay, they have a window. So let's just open the window. Oh, whoa, whoa. oh, you can't open the window. Look at that. Oh, you can only open it like a centimeter. That's oh look at that. Even if you keep it open, oh, it closes. It closes on its own. They have to have like a, a foot stopper. So I mean this is what the fucking footstool is for to keep the fucking window open. Let's look at the closet. So here, okay, you got a pretty nice size closet here. Open it up. Uh, Okay, not a, a ton of space, but it's okay. Let's open the other door. Oh, look at that. You can't open it because this room is so fucking small that you can't open the fucking closet door. Oh, there's no fire in the fireplace. There's no carpet on the floor. Don't try to order dinner. There's no kitchen anymore. Here's where I put my briefcase because there is nowhere else to put it. Yeah, I tried the closet. It doesn't fit. And it's not even that big. It's like one of those suitcases that fits a lot but can... can Carpentum, but I, I don't know where I'm looking for, but I'm really fucking pissed because look, I can't watch TV. Granted, I don't know what TV I'm gonna watch because you know it's all in the Vienna language, but uh, it's still. Okay, the lobby's looking shabby and it's got the wrong address. An old that thing has been condemned by American Express. And you'll love this. I actually got a noise complaint. You can't even talk normal in here. It's unbelievable. Okay, so I gotta whisper this now. I gotta whisper this. Look, 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 look at the, 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 the shower. And what they give you? They give you uh, a bar of soap. Look how massive that is. That's supposed to wash your entire body. And and here's the, the, the shampoo. Here's the shampoo. Can wash a hair, a hair. That and and the soap that you use for the shower, that's the same one you use for that. Yeah, isn't that wonderful? Oh, there are bugs. And there are lice. Sure, we have our little problems, but you'll never beat the price. Look at look at this toilet. Isn't that fantastic? Isn't that just remarkable? I don't even know how they do this. Even their toilet technology is far behind. It's unbelievable. Look, I you got every kind of critter. You got every kind of pest. But treat them all as equal, just like any other guest. I want to emphasize, I don't blame the people uh, who brought me here for this because they had to work really hard to get me to Vienna. I've never been to Vienna. It, uh, what I've seen, it's incredible. It's wonderful. And they are very, very nice people. I am blaming Vienna's hotel standards because this is fuck. This is like pure fuck. I, I have, the walls are so thin, I have to whisper because cranky old men come over, knock on my door and go, wee, 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 wee. You are all weirdos. Again, glad to be here. So happy to see the sights. Fuck the hotel. In the balls. This place never ceases to amaze me. You know, you think, uh, oh, well, you got you got these sheets, which of course I didn't use because it was boiling hot, but, uh, uh, yeah, at least they give you sheets. They're nice enough to do that. No, no, here's the interesting thing. If you look here, no, this isn't a sheet, it's a bag. They give you a bag. I love this, too. I love a bag with a comforter. 
because your bag needs a comforter. And, and not only that, just look at that. Isn't that the cleanest comforter you've ever seen? Isn't that wonderful? I just, ooh, let that, there's some nice uh, handy-dandy urine stains or uh, uh, time of the month stains. I mean, this... <laughs> Oh God! And on top of that, here I, I I just got done taking a shower here. You love this, you know. You think, oh, at, le at least you can keep clean here, right? And see, up, up, up. Unless you're one of the Munchkins, that that that's the only way you're getting clean. Thank God it was not made for six footers like me. You know, you just gotta bend down the whole time. And uh, this place is a closet. Yeah, it, it, it's just a fucking closet. I, I know what you're thinking. No, that's the closet. No, no, that, that that's just a hole in the closet that they put a door on to make it look nicer. So I, I, I feel bad because it's like I, I know there's like, whatever, foreign countries where where they they don't have air conditioning, they don't have anything, and like I'm being like a, a prima donna or something like that. It's like I know it's like I can survive here. Okay, it's not like that bad. It's not like the worst living conditions, but. It's a three-star hotel! It's three stars! A critic actually had to come in here and be like, Oh, well, the room's the size of a shoebox and you sleep in a potato sack, but uh, it's in Vienna, three stars. I, they're looking at getting me a fan, you know, because that's like a big deal to find someone a fan here. I, I mean, it's... They, they probably think I'm like a princess or something like that because because they're just like, Oh, he needs a fan. Oh, get the big celebrity his fan. We don't want him dying of heat. Ooh. That's probably what those stains are on the comfort. It's probably like the last poor schmuck. That's probably like his blood remains because he died of the heat or he blew up. So like a microwave, he fucking blew up. So, uh, again, I I'm probably complaining too much. It's actually a little better because it it's cooler in the morning. Not by much, but it's cooler. So, um, yeah, I, I can't wait to see the culture. <laughs> Okay, we're in the Vienna subway. Lots of good people here. This is Julie. This is Julie. This is Julie. There she is. She's gonna show us around. And we got who's that? It's Benzai, the French horny skunk. <laughs> sad panda. Say hi, sad panda. <laughs> yeah, she looks like a sad panda. Oh, where are we going? We are going to the center of Vienna, doing some sightseeing. We're on the subway. It shows you the people that. Uh, Get, get up for obviously their uh, expired James Bond villains. <laughs> so, so some of them got pregnant. <laughs> Those are the women that have been with James Bond. <laughs> All right, this is St. Stephen's Cathedral, or at least the poster of it. Yeah, that's this. It's a post. They put a poster in front of the it's, cathedral. It's really old, and they have to rebuild it. So they just paint it. It's like a map painting. Yeah. And of course, the ancient LCD screen, because. <laughs> Jesus is sponsored by Samsung. <laughs> That's because the, the, the church is so big, when you sit in the last row, you cannot see what's happening in the front. <laughs> and especially at a wedding or something, they like to use the screens. And then Samsung supports Jesus. That's <laughs> very good to know. Yeah, to display soccer on Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Believe in your team. And this is a statue and monument to Lappin. <laughs> Goldie Hawn pops out over here, I think. <laughs> Another poster. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a George Lucas movie. <laughs> Nothing's real, it's all fake. Or the inside being so beautiful, I've never seen the outside be so tacky. It looks like a magic eye. On the other side, you have the Austrian eagle in the mosaic. The Austrian eagle? Yes, we have an eagle. It's an eagle. Eagle. Oh, eagle. Eagle, a flying eagle. All right, so the American eager is over there. But you will not there. see it because there's a post on it. Oh, what a shock. <laughs> there's a member of the ancient world on his cell phone. There's uh, a... <laughs> oh, oh, he there's knows he got caught. <laughs> this is a saint asking for the ancient cue cards. <laughs> the sign says no drinking water, so... Oh, the ancient saint no drinking water. <laughs> He's looking up why the hell he was called that.
T tell us about this place. Um, Steif is an uh, old toy manufactory um, and they made toys for the emperor and some of their famous teddy bears sell for like 500 bucks. 500, 500 bucks for a fucking teddy bear! It's probably made out of diamonds. <laughs> and no, they look exactly like uh, any other teddy bear ex except they have a button in the ear say, saying Steif. <laughs> that can see into the future, that's yeah. why. <laughs> Actually for $500 they're selling you a real bear and the cotton you have to stuff him yourself. <laughs> it's a real bear, that's why it's 500 <laughs> And this, of course, needs no explanation. Mm -hmm. I think it's um, very self-explanatory. Pinocchio. Pinocchio, Pinocchio with a spider hanging off and a cigarette on top of a ladder. <laughs> yeah, because that really deserves to be next to this, <laughs> doesn't it? It's like, no, this is hack stuff. This is real art. <laughs> Isn't it great to have these side by side? At some point in your life, that makes sense, you know? <laughs> and so, yeah, like, when you're high yeah. as a kite. <laughs> oh, and the light just went on. He just realized, hey, this is bullshit. I shouldn't be here. And look at all the people that surround it. <laughs> this wonderful masterpiece of art. Why are all those morons over there, over that old crap? <laughs> this is what they should be looking at. <laughs> Why is this here? There's not even any pigeons on it. Even the pigeons know to stay away from it. Look, they can get their window open. Must be a three and a half star hotel. <laughs> what the hell is that thing? Yeah, of course, there's a guy with a <laughs> We're in Vienna Mario Kart. <laughs> well, what was this, Julie? Um, that's the old city wall. The old city wall. So you can see that Vienna was built on Vienna. It burned down and gets looted, and you build the city on the city. Build a city. You might be a redneck if you build one Vienna on top of the old Vienna. This isn't architecture anymore. It's a fucking poster gallery. <laughs> they put a poster on top of the poster. How do you, how do you say that first word? Vina. Vina sucker. <laughs> Would you like a Vina sucker? You're all looking to suck my Vina, aren't you? <laughs> and your horses and the horse you rode in on. You're all going to suck my Vina. <laughs> oh God, I love making fun of incredible art. <laughs> Although that, that, that's a poster, so I, I can get away with it. A poster uh, on top of a poster. <laughs> like they built Vienna on top of Vienna. <laughs> this is the four dick stages of Hercules in every meaning of the word. Of women, of the winter <laughs> residence of the president. What was it? The winter pres uh, residence of the former emperor and the president works here today. Wow, really? Hercules was the president? That's <laughs> yes. awesome! There's the Hydra, for, uh, you know, Hercules against the Hydra uh -huh. from the Disney movie, where it was just like that big. <gasps> you yeah. remember something from the Disney movie? <laughs> no, 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 I'm telling you that in the Disney movie it's like ginormous, whereas here it's just a snake with three heads. <laughs> you mean the Disney Hercules got something wrong about Greek mythology? No! <laughs> Back off, bitches, we own this street. <laughs> this is the first don't tase me, bro. <laughs> you're gonna be my Wiener sucker and you're going to enjoy it! I'm never watching your show again. <laughs> I, I will come one day to Chicago and do the same thing. Oh, we got plenty of stuff to make fun. You know that Pinocchio thing? We got that shit's everywhere. <laughs> we, we have a giant bean, it. okay? That's our art. We have a huge <laughs> okay. bean. Because Chicago art makes fun of itself already. <laughs> Vienna is such a peaceful place. Look at all the peaceful artwork of her. Hercules just being the shit out of This is like the 12th statue of him just beating something. <laughs> and people yell at America for being violent. Um, actually, when the, the statues were made, they were all naked and showing the penis. But a few hundred years ago, the church was saying, Oh no, my God, we cannot show penises. <laughs> so he added scarves and... and Things. They edit. Yeah, so you can. It's like Photoshop. They yeah. Photoshop the statue. <laughs> it actually sort of looks more perverted when they do that. <laughs> like you don't even know what it is now. It just makes you look at it more. Yeah. Well, first of all, say marijuana. Mariana. Mariana. That's what she calls it. She calls it Mariana. Mariana. <laughs> Yeah, I cannot say it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mary Jane and Mariana, that's awesome. All right, now now, now tell us about the uh, the little festival yeah, that they throw in this park. Yeah, there's a festival and they make a, a huge fire 
and saying, don't smoke drugs, they are bad for you, please throw them in the fire. Yeah, throw your drugs in the fire. So old people <laughs> that sitting here are really high. <laughs> old so, people, well, yeah. the young people, first of all, if you show up with drugs, or there's just all the cops waiting to get you probably. No, not on this day. <laughs> no, today it's okay, because everybody's going to get high on this day from the fumes. It's the, the dumbest thing I ever heard. Austria has some weird causes. <laughs> First, the anti pro drug, where they throw drugs into fire and everybody gets high, and now Space Invaders against homophobia. <laughs> Don't you guys have any real problems? <laughs> it's called Volksgarten, so which the means the, the garden of the people, the garden for the public. And it was the only garden that was open to the public. And during World War, a lot of people. Um, planted vegetables here because there was Plant no what? food. Vegetables like carrots oh, and vegetables. Okay. Ve vegetables. <laughs> You're being so kind. I'm sorry to make fun of you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Say marijuana again. No. Oh. Mariana. Ah, I love it. <laughs> it's like Maria and Anna. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <sure. laughs> Wait, it sort of sounds like a porno, but okay. GQ poses. <laughs> These are the signs saying you can't do GQ poses. <laughs> I don't know what kind of bike that dude's riding, he's way too forward. <laughs> yeah, no walking people. <laughs> no walking no SM here. Who now now who's this guy? Uh his name is Grillparzi was an infamous writer. What do you write? Poems and stories and oh, yeah. sarcastic poems. So sarcastic, sarcastic poems. He got a statue for writing sarcastic poems. Oh got my statues only a few years away then. These poems don't look that sarcastic. <laughs> Look, kids, Parliament. These are the guards of nonchalantness. Don't make us get up out of our chairs. Oh, please. All right, just don't kill the president. Mike, I'm just noticing your shoes. What the hell kind of shoes are those? <laughs> those are like Wiley Coyote shoes. I want to see you yeah. jumping up in the air. <laughs> you never wore shocks before? Why, why the hell would I want to? It's <laughs> be not cut in the video. Or the video's not going up. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is a model of Mordor, also known as Vienna. <laughs> you guys ready? This is Bugle Fight. This is Sarah, Hi. the person who's doing so much for us. She's not only getting us into this place, but actually a couple museums. A special one I'll tell you about uh, when we get there. It's so awesome. But uh, yeah, tell us where we are right now. Um, you're at the Upper Belvedere right now. Um, that's the bigger palace of the two Belvedere houses. The other one is the Lower Belvedere at the end of the garden. And this here was only for presentation uses by Prince Eugene. Uh, or Prince Eugen, as they like to call him. And, Was he Jewish? Um, Eugen! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we just went inside and uh, man, the artwork in there is unbelievable. They get artwork from like uh, uh, the 1700s, pretty much all the way up to uh, the 1900s. And uh, honestly, even if I could film, it wouldn't be able to catch just how awesome this stuff is. I mean, to actually see it. Uh, you know, uh, some of it's very flat, but still seems very three-dimensional. Others of it uh, is very crisp and very solid, you know, very impressionistic stuff and can jump out at you. They even had a few uh, Van Goghs in there. The famous uh, Kiss is in there. And again, if I had on video, it wouldn't be able to do it justice because the way he uses the silvers and the gold and the reflections are, are just so awesome. Uh, the one thing that sucks about it is that they, they're trying to put modern art in there and they're doing it really badly, like they're trying to just sneak it in, like, yeah, like, like the, you go in there, here's all these incredible statues, you know, of, you know, holding up the building and it looks incredible, and then here's this blue marshmallow hanging. And, and, and there's these other paintings that look like they just got them off of DeviantArt. Yeah, there's actually something called the Princess of Hippies. And, that, and that's like one of the new paintings, and it literally looks like something they just ripped off of DeviantArt, like a first year college student kind of thing, and it's... 
it's it just doesn't it right. make sense it makes no sense at all and they just tried to slip it in like eh, the you know like <laughs> yeah and apparently there's like this gigantic painting that took up the whole room and the boss like didn't like it so they, they got rid of it and I, I don't know i don't know the reason but it's it's totally goofy so that sucked but everything else in here is unbelievable uh it's overload if you have a chance to see it go see it it's incredible is that more modern art i don't know yeah. It looks more like no, Flintstone art. Real, actually. Yeah, look at that. That, that really goes, doesn't it? I think that Get all this beautiful oh, yes. garden architecture and then just yeah, shit. Pink, pink poo. <laughs> and what's the name of this uh, uh, pink Barney the Dinosaur shit that's being shit out right now? Yeah, well, what's it called? What's it called? Untitled. What a shock. Modern art that's untitled. I, I can't imagine just how spontaneous that was. It really is, it's like that episode of Seinfeld with the cashmere sweater. You have all this beautiful architecture, you have the, the statues there and stuff like that. And, you know, it's like this beautiful cashmere sweater. What's that red dot? I should buy out this is Chang. Am I right? You're pretty much the reason that we're in Austria because you wanted us to come here, right? Yeah, I was the crazy yeah, guy. Yeah, so, 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 so this is the cool, crazy guy that all of you should be, uh, all you Austrians should be kissing right now because he's the reason <laughs> I'm pretty much here. Uh, you didn't saw it, but uh, on uh, a Saturday, three guys would come to me and said, Yeah, and I'm sorry, I couldn't have told them I invented you. I invited you and they were kneeling, kneeling down before me. Oh my god, you are my god, you are my god. <laughs> and again, though, he, he is a Chinese Austrian speaking English, so his accent uh -huh. is darling. I know, I know. <laughs> but he can see marijuana. I'm marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we have a winner. We have a winner oh, for the new marijuana sale. <laughs> he took the crown from you. <laughs> You know, again, you have all this beautiful architecture and these beautiful statues. All of a sudden, you have a statue of a Muppet over there. <laughs> what the hell is that? Give a hoot! Don't support shitty art! Okay, so we're in the cereal aisle, which I know is kind of stupid to film, but uh, I, I want to just show a little bit of the uh, uh, the differences here. You, know, you got Cheerios, you got Spearmint. Look at this! High Nut Cheerios, that's the bee they got. Is that is that female or male? It looks female. Yes, female. It is female. Okay, so the Hyena Cheerios bee had a, had a sex change. Yeah. And, and they call it Honey Bis Loops. But here we're much more liberal. And, 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 the, and then they, because they're uh, so lazy, they don't do pops, they do Honey Bis Pops. They just have the same mascot. <laughs> uh, let's see, Fruit fr Loops is the same. Uh, the, the Remember this guy? I don't know if he's still around in America. It's the, the chimp. What, what's his name? Um... Ah, oh, driving me nuts now. Uh, my name Coco. is Coco. That was it. Coco. Oh, it's on his shirt. Oh my God, it's right there. And I'm like, what's his name? What's his name? <laughs> and he he has like three cereal. There's a hippo there, but he he's up in the corner, uh, he has photo to bombing. Hippo on his shirt. Yeah, and, and, and there's an owie. He's got about three. And then this bear. I don't know who this bear is. That's uh, <laughs> Shucko. Now that might be uh, that might be like Co uh, was it Coco Pebbles, which we have the Flintstones for that. Uh, they advertise that. There, it's at Frosted Flakes, it's Frosties. And, uh, oh, what else? I think. Oh, Sma look at the Smacks Frog! He looks deranged! <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's on speed! <laughs> As, and then, here's a weird thing you got. Okay, the Rice Krispie Elves, they're, they're about the same. They're, they're a little different. But then, look over here. Nestle Tri it's the same thing! It's the same guy, and, and you said you, you said it, it used to be Huey, Dewey, and Louie, right? Yeah, right. Okay, so they, they made them human. But I think those are more tasty because you have also caramel, honey, and, and vanilla. Oh wow, that actually sounds really good. Okay, and then we also have Cine Maid. Uh, we uh, remember Wendell. The wow, that is so <laughs> disturbing. You, you have cinnamon toast licking cinnamon toast. That's that's really creepy. Oh, then they have that weird wolf that was originally the Cookie Burglar. So. Okay, the rest are... I like this one, you just have a cereal, they couldn't think of a clever title, so they just call it clever. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> and yeah, everything else is pretty much the same, but uh, yeah, just showing you the different... Oh, I'm getting the... Li okay, this is weird. Look, lion, lion bars here, there's these things called lion bars, and, and they're really good if you haven't had, but look, they're, they're all open! Every one of them's open, like all the way back there, I finally found one that wasn't open, what? Do you guys just have a problem with people opening cereal? I don't know. I think it was a maniac kid who wanted to, to 
to yes, the I just, so, so this isn't like a common occurrence in Austria. No. No. There's some bandit who just opens cereal. Oh, look, the trio, trios are also yeah. Oh, they also open the trio. <laughs> Snap! Snap, crackle, pop! Holy shit! It's a terrorism. Terrorism. Serial terrorists. <laughs> we also found Hello Kitty loops. They're so cute. They're, yeah. they're I, I, I think they're supporting they're breast cancer too, because there's the pink ribbon. <laughs> 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 I, I expect that in Japan, not in Austria. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you right now. I'm not making this up. This is a real product. It's really called this. I'm not making this up. <laughs> <laughs> I think it speaks for itself. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us where we are. Uh, Schönbrunn, the house summer residence Sissy. Of, of the Empress Sissi and her husband Franz Josef. All right, so we're climbing. What was it called again? To the Gloriette. The Gloriette. Which is right there. We've already come from down there, as you can see, walking a long, long way. It's a tough walk, but uh, by God, the view is going to be incredible. I think we're up to it. Are we up to it? Yeah! Yeah! A I, who cares about a squirrel? Did, did, did you guys even look on top of the hill? You're looking at a squirrel? How about a look at this? A squirrel? Really? These are supposed to be unicorns, but I don't know. I think they kind of look like unigoats. So the, this is a playground they have here, and yeah, it's like the snobbiest playground ever. They have their sponsors uh, written in Egyptian hieroglyphics. Uh, they have Mozart music that's playing all the time. The, the, it's actually named the Magic Flute. They have a statue there of a philosopher. Uh, th this is a pretty pompous playground. I think uh, this is where bullies go to beat up other kids. But it has this badass slide. That's a really badass slide. We have nothing like that. This is a statue to the ceremonial uh, picking up of the women and then setting them directly down. They don't do anything else with them because that would be wrong. So you see, we got some more modern art here, but at least they know what to do with it. They sort of keep it outside the garden, like they won't let it in. <laughs> it's the modern art wanting to be let in with the real art, but they're not letting them. <laughs> they, they see what they do to their women and they get scared. Oh yeah, well, women hiding in the hedges. She, she's hiding with the modern art. <laughs> I think you're kitschy, but at least I'm safe. <laughs> I think this is the marketplace from Harry Potter. <laughs> looks, looks very, very similar. And this is the birthplace of Herr Mozart. Or as I like to call him, the creature. This is the creepiest thing we've seen. <laughs> I like this place because everywhere it's like chocolates and perfumes and Mozart stuff, all of a sudden like weaponry. <laughs> let's go in this place, it looks pretty badass. <laughs> Except for that, that's creepy, but let's, this looks pretty badass. They tricked us, look at that. They, they bring us in with weaponry and skulls and it's nothing but chocolates and Mozart. It's all the same. <laughs> it's more chocolate and Mozart. <laughs> Yeah, let's see. One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> Can you guess which? 
Yeah, that's what we're talking about. This is like the stair of swords. <laughs> Look at that. It's just swords as we're going down the stairs. The Dracula sword. This, this is where the badass stuff is going to be. <laughs> this is where the... Damn it! They fooled us again! <laughs> it's like teddy bears and dolls. And cuckoo clocks. How they do that? How they keep tricking us like that? And wouldn't you know it, they have ones with Mozart on it. <laughs> what a shock. <laughs> The store makes no sense. It's either fluffy teddy bears or metal death. It's like no in between. We also have Mozart balls. Yes, you too can be sucking on Mozart's balls. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're a little infected. <laughs> but aside from that, they're good salty chocolate balls. <laughs> and this guy's like, oh yeah, you've had my balls, haven't you, kid? <laughs> and he's like, I sure have. Were they infected? <laughs> they sure were. Good, you'll be dead in a week. Hooray! <laughs> I love you. Tell us about this place. What is this place? That's a cost. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> uh, it's a cost. It's an old cost. Okay. <laughs> They have all these descriptions, you know, and signs for everything. What does this one say? Stone wall. Yeah, thanks, sign. When uh, when to figure that one out? Boy, there's no Mozart on it, so it's not. It's not, not Mozart's book. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not from around here. Yeah, I know. The, the, these were the beds. And just give me an idea how small they were. Here, Chang, get in there. <laughs> get in there. Yeah, he's Asian, and he couldn't fit in there. <laughs> That's how small the bed is. Someone <laughs> died. This is like the rough cut of the ending to Ben Abs and Broomsticks. <laughs> Again, this place has stupid modern art everywhere. Like, they, they have a projector there that's projecting this gray. That, that's what these people are attacking. They're attacking the stupid modern art that's invading this country. I agree with them. It needs to stop. Now, these things are awesome. <laughs> this is like hardcore SM right here. Yeah, I don't know. That's... Maybe the munchkins broke in. Maybe this was munchkin medieval torture. <laughs> now this looks like a guy who should be wearing this outfit. <laughs> you, th you think this was just the really mentally handicapped person? Who like, yeah, you can be in the army. Here, we'll make you an outfit and everything. <laughs> this is what they gave him. <laughs> Alright, so we're about to see the uh, torture chambers. And the interesting thing is, if you look here, they, they have these uh, audio tours. You know, and, and you listen to it. If you look up there, they have uh, uh, ones for adults and ones for children. Which is like, what's the one for children? Is it like, here they made ice cream. And the people who didn't like the ice cream didn't get chocolate. Ooh. Yeah, this is where Ben's eye spends his Friday nights. Yeah. This is actually on top of the torture chamber. Who would have thought if you took the tour of the torture chamber, you would get the best view of Vienna. <laughs> Look at that, it's incredible. It pays to be a sadist. Okay, so we decided to listen to the children's tour because we're really stupid. And um, yeah, it's just as intense. <laughs> They're just like, you know, they torture many people here, even little children, just like yourself. I'm like, dude. <laughs> Like, like half the kids are walking around with their hands on their heads. Like they can't believe what they're hearing. So it, it's just as intense, except every once in a while they'll say like, archeologist is a person who digs. So Th this is the uh, puppet room pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that is like Pixar Frankenstein. That is scary as hell. <laughs> Oh, I was held captive from 1611. <laughs> My spirit still lives in these... <laughs> what are they teaching our kids? This is really freaky. <laughs> they have a kid's version of the torture chamber and stuff like that. It's... Face is so creepy. Stop 
looking at me? There's something that's on the ground. I don't. It's, it's money. Yeah, this is where the Goonies ended up. <laughs> they got too greedy. Oh no, this is freaking, this is actually pretty freaking cool. It's like a tree of all their scariest puppets. <laughs> Welcome to Julie Tamor's Playhouse. Like five of you got that, but the five of you got are gonna be laughing. Kiss me. Kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll kiss later. Yeah, let's do some puppet work. The puppet Why aren't I Mozart? Everything here is Mozart. I should be Mozart. <laughs> And this is the coolest statue here. This thing is awesome. Look at that. Shia Baggins. You said drunk people piss inside it? <laughs> Shia Baggins. Stop that. Stop that. All right, well, I've seen these things everywhere. I'm finally going to try Mozart's balls. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Mozart's balls are succulent. Mm. Oh, and crunchy. Oh, Mozart's balls are crunchy and juicy and chocolate. I, I didn't think they'd be chocolate, but they are. Mozart's balls are chocolate. Mm. No, you know what? This is childish, this is immature. This is really, really stupid. I'm gonna have me some nuts. Some tasty fucking nuts. All right, so we're in the city of Grasse. Am I saying that right, Gras? Grasse. I'm just gonna call it Grasse. And uh, yeah, for the most part, it's a pretty modern city until we get to uh, this part. And what's this part called? It's the city center. The, 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 the city center, and this is where they have all the stuff that kind of looks like Vienna. It has all the, uh, uh, you know, the first district anyway, that has all the cool uh, art that I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, we're at an Austrian cafe, which they keep going on and on. You gotta try an Austrian cafe. It makes, you know, American coffee look like swill, which, okay, isn't that hard, but still. Uh, I, I want to try some Austrian coffee and uh, see how that tastes, because they say it tastes really good. So, so you have water with the coffee to figure out if the coffee yeah, is if good? if the coffee is good or not, and if actually, um, that you can, when, you, when it tastes bad for any reason, and you want to blame the owner of the coffee shop like yeah your coffee tastes bad it's because you bought cheap coffee no i didn't it's actually trust me it's with the water and you can taste it in the water that's why they put the glass extra to it okay so you have the water to make complaining easier pretty much yeah and also <laughs> and it, people like to complain especially in vienna especially in vienna all right well it already looks a lot better than american coffee i gotta say so i'm gonna try this is there a sugar in this or no no, no not oh i'm putting sugar in there. <laughs> all right spare, spare kick ass <laughs> yes. Yeah, even the milk looks all snazzy and stuff like that. Look at that. 2010. I would hope so. <laughs> Just to show you that Asians really will eat anything. <laughs> This is a mushroom strudel. <laughs> you ordered a mushroom strudel. Eat it! Okay, let's try it. <laughs> yeah. You're That's sick! Not bad You're so sick! Oh, with milk. Mushroom strudel and milk. Yeah, perfect oh. combo. <laughs> Even the things that are supposed to suuck here turn out okay, so... And yeah, that's Austria. Okay, so what the friggin' hell is this? These are the stairs to the clock tower. To the clock tower. Yeah, yeah, there's the, the clock tower. The These are the stairs. Qu -qu -qu Quite a few of them. 
260. These pansies want to take the elevator, but no, no. We're we are are taking the stairs. We are taking the Damn stairs. Damn right, we're, yeah. we're climbing that fucker. We're going to love it. All right, we're just about to go up the stairs. I'm hyped. I'm so hyped. I have so much energy. This is just going to fly. Oh. 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 oh, my God. <gasps> that was so stupid. That was so stupid. What was I thinking? It's a perfectly good elevator there. I didn't take it. That was stupid. I was really stupid. You know what? They lied. Okay, they lied. They said it was like 260 stairs. Well, yeah, but there's about five roads going straight up. That doesn't count as one stair, okay? That's like, that's like a thousand stairs. And every time you think you're getting closer, it's like a bush hiding it. No! Yep. Bunch of more stairs going up, cause you being an idiot didn't count. It's supposed to count the stairs, but again, it doesn't count. There's roads going up and going. To <sighs> At least there's a beautiful view. So it wasn't worth it. <laughs> <gasps> Climb all the way up here. The, the, this beautiful, you got these statues and stuff like that, all this hard work put in. They got the four wrong. How could they get the four wrong? Don't they watch the Rocky movies? Come on. This whole city looks like the ending to Willy Wonka. <laughs> and a lot of people wonder, where is the heart of the city? Well, it's right there. That is literally a heart. They, they built it to look like a heart. I, the, the, there's some debate that, that that's a liver, right? I don't know, it looks like a heart Yeah, you, you, you just like to eat liver, that's, that's why you think that. <laughs> there's a miniature of the clock tower. Right or if you want to just, I don't know, see the clock tower, there it is. <laughs> but, but I think it's made out of chocolate, so that's okay. <laughs> This is the tunnel where you actually go in to go through the stairs. I guess we could have taken this before, but... Walking through the passage is at your own risk. Okay. Let's go! <laughs> Enter at your own risk. Bring your own luggage if you dare. <laughs> you have to escape tunnels from uh, World times. Oh, escape tunnels? Yeah. That's kind of cool. Is it true that Arnold built this tunnel just by sneezing? Yes, it's true. Yeah. Don't go there, the velociraptors are in there! <laughs> How about we take the fairy tale train? Oh, oh we're taking the fairy tale train? Yes. Awesome! Fairy tale train. Oh, oh, it's fairy tale time, bitches! All right, bad news. Um, we may not be able to do the fairy tale train because they actually reserved tickets. There's reserved tickets for this. <laughs> that just shocks me. I want my fairy tale theater. <laughs> Chang, you will give me my fairy tale theater. I will get everything for you. If if the people don't show up, we can go on. Okay, I don't. I want a world of whimsy. Actually, every James Bond villain's lair needs this. This is the elevator to the cold mines. This is the radioactive voice that we use to kill our superheroes. And this is the fairy tale train ride that we use to give people a wonderful magical time. <laughs> there are the bastards that are taking our spots. <laughs> they reserve the seats for children. Children for crying out loud. Can you imagine? You're horrible people. You'd make Santa Claus cry. <laughs> so yeah, no fairy tale train for us, but um, just to get revenge, I did put gasoline on the track, so if there's a spark, <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a happy little ride. <laughs> is it me or is this the weirdest looking attachment to a church ever? <laughs> That's like where the Munchkin people have their Emerald City church. For those of you who are wondering, yes, the inside of this church is just as ugly as the outside. <laughs> It's Willy Wonka's church. <laughs> Today we're going to honor our Scrumdilientius god. Oh my god, is that tacky. This guy's about to attack that guy, and then this guy's like, Whoa, 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 hold up, man. I'm Jesus. He's like, oh, okay. Well, here, you can make this hideous church. Jesus is like, really? Okay. I am the great and powerful god. <laughs> In a candy factory. <laughs> These are the door handles. These are the door handles to get into this place. It looks like the horns of the Balrog. <laughs> this whole place looks like a Middle Earth reject. <laughs> I'm sorry to make fun of whatever religion this is, but... Um, 
Oh, this is Catholicism? Oh man, it could have fooled me. <laughs> this is the religion of Mork from Mork and Mindy. <laughs> That's what this is. This is like an alien church. Okay, I, I've already damned myself. I better get out of here. <laughs> If you really respect your god in this place, that's fine, but that also gives me the right to make fun of it. <laughs> if I make fun of it, it shouldn't matter. <laughs> you love your god, but by, by lord, I'm gonna make fun of this place. <laughs> this is the biggest thing. This is bigger than uh, Vienna. This is bigger than the Belvedere. This is bigger than uh, uh, all the architecture and everything that we've seen. People, we are at the Arnold Schwarzenegger Museum. I'm totally serious. We're going into the Arnold Schwarzenegger Museum, which is also his birthplace, and we're gonna see it before Arnold Schwarzenegger. Well, okay, not before he was born there, but you know what I mean. It's it, it, we're especially being let in to get sort of a special sneak peek of the museum. I can't believe this exists. This is awesome. Oh, I can feel the bad grammar just flowing through me. Well, listen, dear visitor, please sign the visitor's book. Your entries will be delivered to Arnold Schwarzenegger. My entry will be delivered to Arnold Schwarzenegger? Holy crap, I'm so riding in this. This is an incredible moment. This is going to Arnold Schwarzenegger. He'll, he'll never read it, I'm sure, but it's going to him. I gotta, oh, what, what, what can I write? God, this is, this is like writing to Jesus. This is like the person who created me. <laughs> I, I won't be nearly as funny without him. What, what, what can I write? I'm an Arnold Schwarzenegger history, man. <laughs> I've gotten to the job I need to school. It's good! There's a big poster and t-shirt of Obama, even though Schwarzenegger's a Republican. Explain <laughs> how that works. <laughs> this museum is similar to Kami. I am coming in the front, I'm coming in the back, so I'm in heaven. Oh, the owner is here? Yeah. Where? There they are, too. Where? Oh, they're there? Okay. I'm gonna meet them, and this is gonna be totally awesome. Ah. Hello. Hello. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, this yeah, is just awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is so awesome. I've been in there. I just love it. I absolutely love it. Yeah, du darfst euch recht herzlich begrüßen da. Die Sarah hat dir das alles so eingefädelt und hat gesagt, ja, sie kann zu jeder Zeit vorbeischauen. Das Museum ist ja noch nicht nicht fertig, ne? Aber man sieht so einige Sachen, wo sie in der Laufe der Zeit vom Arnold Geschenk bekommen habe und da haben wir das einmal so ausgestellt. Und wir haben ja schon den Arnold Schwarzenegger Wanderweg. Er versteht mich schon, gell, oder? Ja. 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 I have no idea what he's saying. Just... <laughs> <laughs> well, what we should say, he used to be, he was the mayor of this town? Yeah. Yeah, he used to be the mayor of this town. And um, afterwards, he put together an Arnold Schwarzenegger Museum. <laughs> I guess, he, how long has he been Arnold's friend, do you know? Uh, well, they went to school together. Yeah, okay, so like boyhood friends. He arrived at me to come to his table. Uh -huh. I was sitting there drinking beer, and he waved over me to come to his table. They say, get to the table. Yeah. <laughs> Are those cookies that they're put on there? Yeah. <laughs> so in fact, when they were done, they put the cookie down. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Awesome. What? You go first. Oh, I'm going first. Wow. Let's lose one more already. And again, there's one. Put that, put that, cook it, put that, put that, cook it, put that, put that, cook it, put that, put that, put that, put that, put that, put that, cook it. What did he do with the mannequins? Ah, yeah. That's to teach you how to grow arms, right?
<laughs> That's... This is where the magic happens. That's the original toilet cover. Yeah. Yes. Okay, can you ask me if I can just sit in there? <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, it's it's almost as good as the real thing. <laughs> yeah, I know how it works. You can uh, read the times. I can read the I, I can read the toilet paper. Yeah. Okay. Toilet Look paper. at the date. Wow, 1931. This is some old toilet paper okay. right here. I bet it's very it's for you. It's for you. It's for me. It's for you. I can keep Arnold's toilet paper. Yes. <laughs> I get to keep Arnold's toilet paper! Okay. Go off to your rocks! Very nice, huh? Very nice. This is easily the most surreal day of my life. What's your name? Doug. Doug Walker. Doug. Doug. Yes. Doug. 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 Call me Doc, it's fine. I can't believe we're still in the bathroom. <laughs> this is the room we spend the longest amount of time in. I have to go to the bathroom for a bath. I know! I'm standing in here so long. <laughs> <laughs> Why are his legs tornadoes? I don't get that. These are like Popeye muscles. <laughs> I, I have no idea why they didn't finish it. He, he said before that here lived an old lady when Arnold was a boy and he helped her um, bring up water and coal. And Did she make that? <laughs> no. Because that'd be an interesting old lady if she did. <laughs> A lot of people didn't have a toilet. Well, they did they had to go house. out in the meadow. Okay, so, so the toilet outside. was there. Sit over a hole. Okay. Yeah, that was from luxury. Did, did they have the same toilet paper? They have to <laughs> find that too. This is the better one. Oh, that's the better yeah, toilet paper, the, the, okay. Pass only and, and this is at least the latest edition. <laughs> this was the Times. <laughs> This is where he kept the critics that didn't like his films. <laughs> get, get a shot of that! <laughs> now that's a spider that would be in our Schwarzenegger's house. <laughs> the architecture in this place is like Jenga. <laughs> they pull it away, the whole thing's gonna collapse. Yeah. Um, yeah. There they put in vegetables in autumn, so they would stay fresh during the winter. Okay, I thought it was Arnold's litter box. Now, Maybe you can pick up a... <laughs> apple of Arnold's garden. Maybe if you eat it, you get stronger. I am eating Arnold's apple. <laughs> so far, I don't notice any difference at all. Whoa! Look at that, I'm growing! I'm growing stronger! I can tear down this tree! Okay. Maybe they're just apples. You know what makes the apple so good? The steroids! <laughs> This, this is technically take two, but I think that's good. <laughs> see, okay, if you want to see me sign that book, you know, the other historical thing that happened here. You gotta come here, you gotta come, you gotta visit the address, see how to get here and see Arnold's birthplace. Incredible. I always thought he was born in the manger, this is proving me wrong. This is the park that's dedicated to Arnold. As you can see, it's supposed to be in the shape of his head. Which alone is pretty funny, but look, it doesn't look at all like his head. They just sort of draw his head around it, and that's supposed to be the park. So guys, that was the Schwarzenegger Museum. Uh, the guys that run it and are putting it together, just unbelievably nice guys, unbelievably uh, uh, helpful and friendly. Uh, I guess they were friends of Arnold, so they know him really well. And they put a lot of hard work into this. If you want to see the Arnold Museum, if you're ever in Austria or whatever, if you live in Austria, uh, check out this address. Uh, it's all on there. It's, what can I say? It's the Arnold Schwarzenegger Museum. So if you're in town, check it out. There's free Arnold toilet paper. <laughs> Put that, 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 put that,